everybody it is bungalow studios and today um i will be doing my first book review essentially how this is going to work is i take a book and i talk about it i review it in a way i speak my opinions on it and our first book for this series is this one as old as time from the twisted tale series written by liz braswell I have read this book like once but it is one that sticks with you. It really deserved deserves it really deserves its place in the Twisted Tailed series like yes. Oh I forgot to record this part um <clears throat> something dropped again. Uh anyway so if you haven't read this book yet I suggest you go read it first before this video because this does contain a lot of spoilers in it. I mean, come on, this is a book review. So, uh, yeah, go read this book first, then come back here. Okay, let's get on with the video. <laughs> okay, so I have a bunch of stuff written down here. It's like the twists of this twisted tale. And basically just stuff that um, uh, I will be talking about. Okay, so the first obvious twist twist of this book is that the enchantress is Belle's mother remember the enchantress that cursed prince adam aka the beast yeah that was her um also in the chapter appropriately named mrs potts loses her tea she okay so Belle and the beast um they decide to take a different approach as to break the curse and um uh they decide to go to Mrs. Potts for some reason. And basically, in this chapter, Mrs. Potts loses her tea, Mrs. Potts, like the title implies, goes completely off about her husband. Um, uh, so, and it's revealed, a little backstory is revealed. And um, basically, when the Beast was a kid, Mrs. Potts' husband, which I think whose name was Alec, Mr. Alec Potts? I don't know. Started with an A. But, uh, anyways, uh, so he was the stable master. He worked the stables, like, took care of the horses and all that. But he was also, apparently, Prince Adam's favorite servant. But then one day he just went missing out of the blue literally just out of nowhere was just up and gone and you wonder what the beast's parents told him okay the beast's parents told little adam little kid adam that the reason why his favorite servant had left was because of him i'm sorry but what anyways so um a few chapters later i think like three chapters later um Mrs. Potts's husband is found buried in the stable with a book, like, like a little notebook, uh, that basically revealed how he knew Belle's mother and father, and how he was also involved with um, enchanters and, and enchantresses. These are people that the book caused less traumas. I, I hope I'm um, uh, saying that correctly. Forgive me if I'm not. But, uh, anyways. In later chapters, Belle and the Beast go to the village. Only to realize that the bookstore had been burnt down. And Monsieur Levi, more on him in a minute, um, he is found practically down the street. Um, it is later revealed in later chapters that Gaston burnt down the bookstore because he was told that um, uh, he would be able to find her there. Now listen, I don't know about you guys, but um, listen. In both Beauty and the Beast movies, in the original 1991 animated movie and the 2017 um, live action adaptation movie, we get a pretty clear shot of the bookstore, and it is really small. Literally, all Gaston would have had to do was go into the bookstore, 
look around and realize, oh, she's not here. I better go look somewhere else. But no, he decides arson. <laughs> so anyways, um, I don't know how Maurice did it. I don't remember everything that good, but, um, Maurice somehow found his way into the asylum where he finds Belle's mom in, like, this, like, uh, dungeon cage thing. She's behind bars. And she's just skin and bone, so she wasn't dead this entire time. Black twist. Oh, and y'all remember the asylum guy? The asylum guy that I cannot pronounce the name of and will not try to pronounce the name of? Yeah, turns out the asylum guy has been using horrific surgeries and experiments to basically extract and take out the magic out of these enchanters and enchantresses, which is just wow. Um, also, plot twist and a little bit, a little bit of hypocrisy in my opinion. The Asylum guy used to be an enchanter himself. Maurice, um, uh, says that- Maurice said that he used to be able to look to- look into the future. But to quote the Asylum guy, he cut the impurities out of him years ago. What? Anyways, so eventually when Belle goes to, um, save her father from the Asylum in this book, um, the asylum guy, um, gets a hold of her, and, okay, so you know those, like, things, those, like, bed things that you see in asylums, like, the leather, uh, wrist things that you, that's, like, get, that, like, gets, I'll put a picture up. So, yeah, it's one of those things, and, um, he basically puts her and um, bounds her to one of those and tries to surgically remove the impurities or the magic out of her despite her not having any magic. Also, remember Monsieur Levi? Yeah, he's discovered to be a few hundred years old. Now, in one of the, um, uh, in one of the last chapters, like, later chapters. Um, uh, Belle is freeing all of the enchanters and enchantresses in the asylum. And Monsieur Levi is, for some reason, seen again as a porcupine? Like, dude literally just walks out <laughs> as a porcupine. <laughs> what is this book? I'm gonna tell you what this book is. It is a book that that I was not prepared for the plot, okay? Plot was- I, I wasn't prepared for it. But yeah, this was just a really good book overall. Like, I really liked it. And I really suggest that you go and read this book for yourself. I would most certainly say that it is worth the read. I give it a 15 out of 10. Mainly for the fact that I'm hyper fixated on Beauty and the Beast right now. And this was horror. My current hyper fixation. And a whole bunch of dramatic plot twists. One, like, one plot twist to the next. Love it. Liz Braswell, if you're watching this, this is an amazing book. You did such a good job on it and I cannot wait to read the rest of your Twisted Tales series. Okay, everyone, so that is it for my first book review. If you have any opinions you want to put in the comment section, then I highly suggest you do that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!